Photoshop Toro on how to create your own very cool uh, we're gonna call it just like grunge leaf it's kind of like an edgy little style um basically to take on my example of how I kind of if you guys have no idea of course I do every every now and once in, and now it's every once in a while um, I shoot some portfolio reviews and whatnot right so I actually see a lot of this kind of style and I personally always just wanted to give it a shot because it kind of looked kind of fun and also challenging in a way and uh, yeah, I did test some of my, uh, I guess some of my, uh, my, my extincted knowledge, I would say. But um, bringing it back, it kind of looks kind of cool. Um, I mean, honestly, if I was critiquing myself in a sense, I would say the leaves are a little bit kind of like need some more kind of construction with it. But for the example of the video here today, I thought it was a pretty good to try. And uh, yeah, I want to show you guys how to do this. I think it's pretty fun. Um, it does show some pretty good like fundamental kind of foundation things when it comes to blending and just light, uh, light work and all that cool stuff. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this today's video today. 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below, which will most likely be the PSD of the video, as always, guys. And uh, yeah, just don't forget if you just stop by and you're just you're new to the channel, please subscribe because we're close to 100k. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start like I'm gonna start uh start, start saying something every once in a while. <laughs> um. So yeah, in the, in the meantime, I'm just gonna get this thing going. Let's just get this going. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So let's just jump right into this thing right here, right now. Now, for you guys, just so you guys know, in the description down below is actually going to be all the cool little grunge textures I'm be using in today's video. Also, in the same exact order that it should be kind of going from basically bottom to top is the same order that should be kind of being placed in it right now. Uh, placed in on the textures and all that cool stuff. Um, so also with that being said, all the actual filters that I have on here are pretty much what I didn't end up using. Um, because I guess you would say like the way kind of like the little secret of this video here um, is your the background is the actual absolute main thing we're gonna be focusing on right because that's that's literally everything of the actual uh, this right here right the style itself right um, so the reason why the quality and whatnot looks so so good and whatnot is because we use a lot of oversaturated I want to say oversaturated or overdone kind of clarity sharpen unsharp masking uh, even the paint dupes trick what if you guys don't know what that is basically just kind of like taking your go to your filter filter gallery and under artistic right here is the paint dupes uh, your brush size one sharpness on one if you have a texture you personally use if you just do this really quickly and you kind of turn it on and off you'll see how the 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 texture of it or or and the sharpness of it kind of enhances so all these little things kind of matter but just so you guys know this is in here for you guys to actually go to use and download all that cool stuff and so yeah i'm gonna just jump right into this thing right here right now and the first thing i ended up using was this first layer right here so this uh grunge background right here uh, you couldn't see it because it was below everything else, but it's right that thing right there. <clears throat> so for this is, I'm gonna find a pretty good area here. I'll say like, where was it here? I mean, it was a little more further up. I don't have to depend on the fact that I put my placement here, but I really personally did like the reason why I chose this texture is because this like stuff right here, it just made it look like so, so random and also still kind of like, I guess you would say like random, but also uniform in the sense it wouldn't look super, super terrible, right? So with this here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my uh, uh, adjustments layer, go to my, mm, why am I blanking out? My adjustments layer, go to my gradient map and change my gradient map to this really cool black gradient that I personally have. So this is not pure black and pure black. This is actually pure black on the left-hand side for the shadows. And then on the right-hand side here is actually hex code on a second if i click on it right zero e zero e zero e so it's basically kind of like a nice lower toned or i guess you say like basically gray right it's not pure black it's just a little more it's right here it's just a little it's just a little more above the gray or she's in the black so it just makes it look it's a perfect it's basically perfect it's just, it's just basically perfect black um cancel and press okay right if i put it on reverse you can see it really all depends i didn't ha i personally was actually originally going with this version here kind of with it reversed excuse me is that i kind of like how this was filled in black but at the same time i was just like if it's more it's more balanced this way there's a lot more surface area for the black to kind of hold itself so this is why i went with that personally um second thing is i'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer now i'm gonna use a personal color for this so you can just kind of see what's gonna be happening here now for all these next few steps that are coming up you guys gonna be like what do you why are you doing this and i promise the hell out of you guys that it's gonna be so prominent and it's gonna show it's just basically adding value and texture and just that just that finesse to your background right so the, this thing i want to do here if you guys don't have these brushes by the way this is actually for my brush pack it's five dollars on selfie.com slash sesohq um, you can find this brush pack for five bucks. Like I said, it has almost like, I, I would say like 500 to 600 brushes now at this point. These are not even all of them, all the ones that are in here. This actually, none of them, I guess, or anyone else's are in here besides the Align brush pack because I've been using that personally a lot. And uh, yeah, it's completely worth it. And it's free updates as well when I actually do these fun little updates. But anyway, right? I'm just going to click a few times just like so to kind of add this. Right, I'm gonna go for my blend mode for normal. I'm gonna go to dissolve. The reason why I'm showing you guys is in this uh, personal color here is just kind of see little texture kind of things that I'm doing. So if I take my opacity, just drop this down to like maybe like eight percent. 
um, let's say nine, right? Nine. So these little dots here, just, it's just going to add a little more texture to it, right? And you might be like, it's really not going to, and I promise you, I'll show you, I promise you, right? So I'm going to take my control U and make this just black. Cause I just want to show you guys with the color, just so you guys can see what it looked like, right? I promise you just add something. Um, okay. So after this, I'm going to make another new layer. We're going to take our brush, soft brush. Everyone has this, right? Basically zero hardness, pretty good size brush. I would say maybe like 1300 or so. And I'm going to change my, uh, my foreground color to black, pure black. And for this here, basically my mouse movements are going to go as followed. I'm going to basically click around this way and then click around this way. And I'm probably going to click a couple more times around this spot right here. Um, so <clears throat> when you're doing this yourself, you see how my, my guidelines are showing you right here. I'm not, the black is going to show up right here, but I'm not clicking in this spot. I'm just so you guys know, like, of course, look how concentrated the black is when you go from like the middle. And of course, when you spread out, it gets less concentrated. So that's why I'm kind of, you kind of see my mouse hovering outside of it because it's a little more or less concentrated, but it also looks, it still shows that black in there. So that's the reason why you see me outside of my canvas. Um, so not like right here, you can see how that's, that's too black. You'll, you'll find yourself in a lot of trouble later on in the video. If you guys use too much, um, darkness like that, right? But just enough, right? You see me clicking a couple more times right here and I'll click maybe like right here. All right, that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty much around where I want to have it. So if you find yourself having to go back, you have to go back, whatever. It's not that big of a problem. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to do is this a cool little overlay trick, right? And for this as well, it's going to be one of those things that kind of show a lot. So I believe I use this. We'll just use this again. Uh, we're going to change this to white, our foreground color to white. Click, 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 click around here. Now for this, I'm gonna turn on this for a second, this layer masking tool. If you guys have no idea what layer masking is, I don't know if I explained this already in this video, I, for, I honestly forgot. Um, but if I use a soft brush, a soft black brush will erase. So you can see I erase. And if I put, uh, if I just erase it, take a white brush and I'll fill it back in. So it's my easiest way to kind of show you guys like a rinse and repeat, undo, kind of save yourself without going control Z all the way back or whatever. This is the easiest way to kind of erase things. It's, most, it's also the most reliable and realistic way to erase things, just so you guys know. Um, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna erase it a, a, in a few spots. Before I erase it, I'm gonna lower my brush opacity to about like 30, so it doesn't erase fully. I wanna just kinda do a little bit of erasing, just like so. And this is also another one of those things that's just gonna add a little bit of texture, and you guys are gonna see in a second. So I'm gonna take this now, and take my blend mode, put it on overlay. And you're like, Sesso, uh, you can't even see it. You're such an idiot. Uh, you're kinda right, but also, wait one second. I'm gonna kinda click a couple times. To kind of reveal it just a little bit but if you guys can't see it watch this so the next trick is clicking your first layer your last layer then as well hold shift control j to make a duplicate and then control e to merge it all together um just like so and if you guys find yourself kind of like lagging a little bit you're you're uh, plus i'm also in everything that i just did that i'm gonna be doing in this video right now is also still in this group right here so this is a pretty big file size but with a lot of the times you're using filters and sharpens and making duplicates and whatever it's kind of take a little bit for it to load in especially if you're using what you should be using smart objects so just just so you guys know right so i'm gonna take this make it a smart object go to filter go to camera filter raw just like so and take your sharpen all the way up so I have those things like so you, you can't see them. These little things, it's just a little more texture, a little more finesse to it, even the little black dots as well. Um, as you can see, right? I'm just clicking this Y. So right here, all this stuff is showable on this side when you put the clarity up, but it's not really showing here. But that's why I'm telling you guys that you finesse a little bit. You have a little more fun with it. If you say, hey, I, I see too much, go back into it, delete it. Hey, I see too little, go back in, delete it. You know what I mean? Have a little more fun or put it back in or whatever. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go press okay. Right, but for this here, I'm gonna take the layer mask once again, take my brush, my soft brush, make it black, and I'm gonna do some erase, right? And I'm gonna erase in a few spots. I'll make my opacity 100% for this. Erase in a few spots. Only so a few spots like this one right here, you see how like nice and sharp it is? Uh, almost like in a way it kind of goes like this, but I don't want to kind of have that. I want it to kind of be more or less, let's do a little more, like I'm gonna erase this right here, then I'll go back in, add that there. And maybe like a little more here as well right i only want it to be like in i want it to be sharp in just a few spots you see how that kind of just starts building that nice little character to the actual background and the backing of the actual project don't be alarmed don't be like hey so, so i'm just gonna keep it like this because look at yours right here look how like super high quality it is we're gonna do clarity once again like after and at the end of this so it looks actually a little more better so don't be too worried about not having it be sharp as hell right right now but for this sake this is where you're gonna stop right there so now that that is pretty much done, we're going to go ahead and do the little green glows. So 
I have I don't have my text here. I forgot to put it in, but I'll write the word grunge. So to we're gonna make this this color. Let's go ahead and make sure you put this in the middle. That's eh, somewhere in the middle, hopefully. Right? So new layer right below this text here. I'm gonna use my brush. I'm gonna take this green that I'm using. This green that I'm personally using is something that you can uh kind of just you don't have to use this green or blue whatever you want to call it i guess it's more green blue who the hell knows um this hex code is 23 be 94 so basically if you guys want to choose a color use this hex code and then go ahead and take the hue bar here and then maybe choose a color this way so it's a little more easier for you to kind of like get that nice value of color because this part kind of does matter it's also the part that kind of i mess up in the most when i'm kind of redoing it because it's the most it, it, it really does matter. And honestly, it also really matters with this thing right here as well. That uh, the little dark black you did, you put it around a certain spots. Um, okay, so on this on this new layer, I'm gonna take my brush. Don't keep it at 100%. This is a problem. Make sure you take your opacity, drop this down to maybe like 19, 20% or so. That when you click once, it's not as vibrant and heavy as it is. And we're gonna take our blend mode here and take this from normal to lighten. This will matter when you guys put other things on above it. Promise that. Okay, so it you know you won't see a difference right here. If I click right here, if I put it on lighten, you're like, so, so there's nothing that changed, and you're correct until you put something else above it. That's when it's gonna change. So, lighten. All right, erase this. Oops. Oh lordy, I could have just like made a new layer, or whatever. All right, on the brush, lighten, 20% uh, opacity, whatever color you guys choose. We're gonna click a few times, just like so. I want to be too. I want to be like a little more finessed about this. I see I, I put on the right here, right here, right here, right here. So like right here as well. Right, and then like right here, just a little bit. Okay. I think that's pretty close and accurate to how I put it in the, uh, I also did put some actually in the behind this scene right here. I'm gonna take my eraser. I just erase it a little bit. I see that's pretty good. So I'm kind of like in a, in a in a five quadrant, um, like tic tac co, uh, tic tac co, tic tac toe kind of thing, right? Just like so, right? Just a few spots like that. So once you've basically done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose to make a uh, okay. Let's put the grunge over the text. I see. All right. So oh, I forgot to put this layer in. No, this layer right here is actually one of those another layer for your just kind of like the quality of the actual uh, backing. If you put this above the gradient map. I can still do it right now. It doesn't really matter too much. And I put this on soft light, right? Then right here, you see how it kind of adds this nice little, you know, to that finesse to it. Like I said, just one of those things. Just, the more you add to the background, it's almost like the better in a sense, but make sure you have it controlled. So with this uh, layer, this texture here that I forgot to put in originally. So like I said, it goes above your gradient map. Um, you take your layer mask, you take your black brush. I'll put this above a little bit more. I'll put like at 80% or so. So you have to click more than once to get that full 100% opacity out. But I'm gonna click in a few spots here kind of show those dark values and I say that's pretty good see how like this spot right here this spot right here kind of now has this nice cool little like you know little darker lighter kind of thing going on here so that's what I want so the reason why I forgot to do that is because the next thing we have to do is add this texture so I was gonna say the second texture but this is actually supposed to be the third texture being used which is this texture right here which is the texture basically the same thing as this one right here but with a hue and saturation on so reason being is if I put this above the text I'm gonna go ahead and right click once I do this, run second, right click, clipping mask it. So once I click mask this, I want to kind of move it around just a little bit, kind of see if I want it in a different spot. Like maybe like the word grunge looks best like this. I think it looks pretty good like this. Kind of find a spot that looks like nice, pretty nice, right? But if I show you my example here, <clears throat> you're like, Sesso, how the hell did you get it? So that's kind of like glowing in the background or on top of the actual text. And that's as simple as basically me saying that uh, the actual color of the, you see the color of the uh, right here, the color of the word grunge is actually this nice little green that we're using right now, right? So this should be the same color as whatever you do for your glow or whatever. Um, but basically, this being on its normal, it's nothing blend mode or whatever on this is basically uh, to keep the actual texture on normal. If I click on the layer masking tool right here, take my brush, and I just click a few times, it'll add this nice little glow to it on its own. Very simple, right? So it's as simple as that. So once you have that, uh, the next thing is actually pretty cool. So making going my align pack here. If you guys don't have this, it's one of those things. It's six dollars on Selfie. I like I like you know self promote or whatever, right? So uh, Selfie.com says says HQ. Um, it's called the align pack. It's one of my best selling personal packs. It's also made completely by me. No uh, no Google. I did all these smoke textures, but this personal one number seven is what I'm gonna be showing and doing in this today's video. But uh, there's also a lot like a lot of cool brushes that you use. A lot of the uh, esports guys use this. Um, 
just like straight up i'm not gonna lie to you it's a pretty dope pack i would definitely go check it out um okay anyway number seven this smoke texture here i'm gonna drag this back in here and i'm gonna just put this in a few spots so right here i think on right here i'll put this like right over here maybe like right here and then like right here right just kind of like i guess five quadrants again kind of really right so kind of like you know bottom oop, bottom left bottom uh top left top right bottom right kind of in the middle right so this is going to be basically doing is i'm going to select all of them at once by just clicking on this first one right here holding shift that'll select basically everything in between your clicks i'm going to take my blend mode from normal and then put it on vivid and you'll see what happens just like so it adds this pretty cool kind of like uh i get it just kind of like what vivid light is gonna it's pushing all that like vibrant or excuse me, not vibrant it's pushing all of that uh mm, the it's just basically pulling out it's almost like putting a brightness and conscience above it in that certain spot but having it be a smoke it kind of has this really nice cool bleed into it so it looks really really cool um so i'm just kind of click around i'm gonna click on this one kind of move it around a little bit because i wanted it to be a little more finessed let's click on this one move it around a little bit kind of want to have it like that and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my eraser take my opacity lower it down just click and erase and kind of finesse a little bit so this one right here uh, by the way what i do is i hold i press v on my keyboard to bring this a movement tool if I hold control, if I click, you can see that it's clicking on the ones that I'm selecting. So that's what you guys just, just a little quick little note kind of thing. Um, so now click on this one, take my eraser. I'm going to erase a little bit, kind of make it look pretty good. This one right here is way, way too vibrant. I'll say like that. And then maybe this right here needs to just super erase, honestly. Maybe like that. It's okay. And then this one right here needs to erase like right there so kind of just kind of making it feel a little more smooth a little more thought out more methodical right and so once this is done we can then add our leaves so i'm gonna go back into this file here the leaves right here and then for this little leaf stuff here we're just gonna be putting this around um pretty like just kind of like kind of making sure we hit all these corners again right uh for this as well i already have the camera filter roll on this if i click and open this really quick dude i cannot wait to get a haircut i'm just like messing around with my hair sorry um open this up for a second <clears throat> so as you can see what we'll basically be doing is we're taking our clarity and our dehaze and putting this like all the way up so once you put that all the way up you'll see what happens here right the kind of the clarity is kind of what it does for of course uh pictures and whatnot uh sorry for the plane if you hear that uh for pictures and whatnot kind of just adds like a sharpen to it right uh so that's what's basically happening here but for this case here when you're putting it so like dramatic and um just way way above excuse me what it would probably need to have it's just kind of like messing around with like excuse me brightness and contrast like i have hiccups and like sorry um so as you can see it just kind of makes it a little more darker and just adds that really nice sharpness so like you can see all these little spots here looking really really good so dehaze as well we're gonna put this up i think it was at six right so kind of like one of those things as well what dehaze kind of does kind of combines those kind of like lights and uh shadows and a lot of your color mostly and uh kind of just makes it more smoother so that's what kind of does for photos but for this case here it's just making it look a little more darker and vibrance and saturation all at negative 100 and the blacks here i just want to make it a little more darker so what i ended up doing is for all the shadows and all the black spots in the actual picture in this case this stock image when i lower it down it makes it a little more darker so as simple as that press ok and it makes this nice little cool leaf kind of thing going on here and i'm gonna go over here and just kind of put it in a few spots like <clears throat> this right let's put it like that take this here Put it right there take that here and put it like right there cool so we've done that let's go ahead and just drag in this little palm leaf thing here i'll make this one a little more bigger and since this one doesn't have the actual uh camera filter raw on this one because i had to re quickly kind of put this in the actual pack thing for you guys um we're gonna just do it right filter camera filter raw take our uh clarity all the way up uh vibrance saturation all the way down let's bring this in here so you can see what happens with the clarity with this issue here I want it to be like that. That's a little bit too much in this area right here. I'm going to take my whites, maybe like lower it down, take my blacks, put it up a little bit, and then dehaze, something like that. I think that's pretty good, honestly. So just kind of copy these settings here. Clarity, dehaze, vibrance, all this goes at a negative 100 automatically, but clarity and whatnot, I would say 70. Let's put it for even numbers, whatever, for you guys, right? 70, 15, uh, negative 15 for the whites, and then blacks just put at 45 press okay it's gonna give you a nice little leaf there all right make it a little more bigger so for this next two i'm gonna just basically use the same exact leaf but however i'm gonna go ahead and make this a little more smaller but i'm gonna make a little a little look at uh english is hard i'm gonna make it look a little more different uh i actually don't like 
I actually don't like this. Hold on. I don't like how it's not like the whites need to be come up a little more. I want it to like kind of shine a little more. Yeah, something like that. This is why we kind of save it uh, or make it a smart object so we can actually go back and fix things we don't actually like. So anyway, to make it a little more different every single time, I'm just going to be using the uh, right click or control T, right click, and then wrap it or warp it, whatever, right? And I'm just going to take these corners here, kind of just make it a little more different just by simply do very, very small movements, by the way, because you don't want it to do too many like high movements or big movements because it's going to be super, super uh, super pixelated and you definitely don't want that. And I'm going to take this here, move it a little bit, put this like right there and whatnot. Take this leaf maybe, make it like this, a little more show, right? I think it looks pretty good. So now uh, maybe I can probably warp this a little bit as well, right? Warp and then just something like that, right? So it just looks different. So once you've basically done this, we're gonna do one more final thing before we do the actual final color correction. And that's gonna be using a little bit of Gaussian blur, right? So I'm gonna click on the first layer, click on the background layer, control J to duplicate. And it should take a little bit, as you can see, all these little smart objects, all this stuff has to render and all that cool stuff. Let that render. And done. And we're going to press Control E after. Okay, we'll process. In the meantime, you guys should press the just, you should, you should probably just comment down anything you want to see me do. Um, you should guys probably definitely subscribe while I play with my freaking suit. I didn't do anything with my hair at all. I usually at least like do something. But holy crap, is it like. Dude, I cannot wait to actually get a haircut. This is ridiculous. All right, cool. Uh, press control E to merge it all together. Okay. Come on, come on. All right, so now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and about three, I would say 2.6 is the last time I think I did it. 2.6 blur, press okay. And I'm gonna take my little layer mask tool right here, click on that, right? Take my brush, and let's pick our brush back to 100%. I'll keep it at 90, whatever, right? Black brush to erase and just click and erase a few spots. All right, make sure you definitely erase the text right here. Make sure you erase the background, but not, I'm gonna kind of dodge the leaves for now, but then I'm gonna go in afterwards and kind of just, you know, erase in a few spots, just like so. You can see where it's blurred and see where it's not blurred, right? I don't like this little white line thing going on there, okay? All right, if I wanna add a little bit more too, I'll take a white brush that'll fill it back in, right? But I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my opacity, my brush just lower it down, so it's not super, super vibrant. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, cool, perfect. Now I'm gonna do do it once more. So click on that first layer, click on the background layer, Control J. Oh, this rendering is gonna go on again. I guess we're gonna have a conversation again. Um, so how's your day? I would like to know how you guys are doing. Um, yeah, I could totally cut this out, but I think it's just be. This is real. Oh, did it finish? Oh, it finished. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and then we're just going to add this, uh, excuse me, convert to a smart object because we're going to be putting on a color collection. So uh, filter, camera filter raw or camera raw filter. Double click here so you can see what happens when we turn up the clarity. I'll say about 50, 60% or so. I think 60% looks pretty good. I'm going to take my vibrance, put this up by 15 Okay, okay, okay. Let's take our blacks here. So they'll make it a little more darker, maybe. By very, very small increments, I would say. And then shadows bring it up just a little bit. See how like the bringing up that texture a little bit more. And then the cool part is taking your temperature. So we're gonna go temperature negative 10. And then tint nine. Just like so. I think that's pretty good. Let's just pretty give it an okay. Ooh, okay, we're looking pretty good. All right, I'm pretty excited about that. So that came out pretty, pretty, pretty good. Honestly, you can see, like I said before, all that texture and all that cool stuff comes out very, very hard, and I like how that looks. The last thing to give it that little bit more finesse is once again, click on the first layer, click on the last layer. Honestly, don't remember the actual exact settings, but we're gonna be using something called a smart blur. Uh, what that's gonna basically be doing is taking some few colors, like this area right here, these few areas here, um, are just going to kind of like just mesh in this really nice, just unique way to it. Um, so go to, uh, I don't know if this actually works, but I'm going to convert to a smart object anyway. Sometimes the blurs don't really like, you know, show up to for you to change it next time. But blur and then smart blur. So uh, make sure your quality, it's going to be default low. Make sure it's on high. If I just go up to this area right here, you can see how it looks. You see that little spot right there? 
I just put the threshold up like very, very heavily. We'll see what it's starting to do, right? So this is it with, without any blur. Threshold goes up. You can see what happens here. I'm going to take my radius, just drop this maybe like 21. Maybe like 30. We'll say 30 is pretty good. And then threshold 20, uh, 45, just to make sure it look is, as good as possible, right? Press OK. Let's add this baby onto it. Hopefully it looks pretty good. If it doesn't, we just kind of rinse and repeat, kind of get this really cool look to it. But those settings right there should be kind of default around that. Yeah, pretty much default. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just go onto layer, layer mask again. Take a black brush to erase. And I just want to make sure I erase around where I definitely don't want to have it. Um, that's not black brush. This is a black brush. Right? You can see that it looks really nice right there. Maybe like right here it looks a little bit too awkward. So I'm going to erase that. But yeah, that's... That's pretty much it, honestly. I thought it was pretty good. I'll bring me like around here. I don't want it to have too much. All right. I'm actually pleased with this. I'm actually pleased with the, how the ending of this went. Um, the one thing I would definitely have to do is kind of like finesse a little bit more with the leaves. I could even go a little more darker, but it should have been pretty much similar to what I had previously. But once again, it's all about, oops, sorry. It's all about the color correction itself, but this is basically the premise <clears throat> of how to get this really cool, nice uh, grunge background. It's all about the background, really, and all the, the leaf stuff and whatever comes last or whatever, in my opinion, um, because there's not really much to do with it anyway. But if it was for me kind of thing, you can definitely go ahead into the like the leaf itself, make it a little more darker and whatnot. But my version of it is a little more darker, a little more finesse. That took, of course, a lot more time on it. But it's it's pretty similar, honestly. Uh, okay, you want to like load? It's like trying to load. You kind of see it's trying to light. Load. All right, there we go. Mine's a little more darker, but that's all about color correction. There, it's very very easy fixes. Taking your blacks, lowering it down a little bit more. Taking your whites, your highlights, to bring it up a little bit more. It's it's just one of those things, right? Um, yeah, pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Two likes on the video, you can go secret down below as always, guys. And of course, this is gonna probably be the PSD of this video here today. So you probably you'll, you'll have this one here, so you guys can see to dissect it to have a lot more fun with it. But you can see how like my my leaves here a little more darker, and these are very very vibrant. Um, one of those things, just kind of you just gotta change it around. You know what I mean? Uh, and it probably changed the entire dynamic of the entire thing. And I kind of want to even just quickly show how easy. That would be let's go here let's make it a little more darker how would i do that take my uh blacks maybe and lower it yep press okay that one's done let's go to this one i'm just curious because i wanted to show you guys right like all the simple easy fixes to change the, di the, di the dynamic excuse me of the entire banner uh maybe like right here okay and then this one here i'll just keep it like that color whatever Right, and I'm gonna go back to the uh, little fil uh, filter thing. Excuse me. Go up, Control J, and then Control E after it's done. Hold, I'm just gonna literally just skip to that part there, cause so we don't have to wait so long. <laughs> I'm gonna add the blur and then add the the final color correction. Okay, and that's now with it with a little more kind of just like, uh, see the leaves now? Oh, wait, where is it? The other one, right here. So it's a little more darker now. So, I mean, it's one of those things. Like, you just kind of like have fun with it, enjoy it, all that cool stuff. I'll talk to you guys later. Seso HQ out. Do not, keep, uh, do, not, do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, also check out the self -I. It'll have all the links in the description down below for you guys. Peace out. Seso HQ out. Yep, later. <laughs> enjoy.